Has this ever happened to you? You send an envelope in DocuSigny's signature to multiple recipients, and at least one recipient has already signed, but you realize only now that you uploaded the wrong version of the document into the envelope. Or perhaps you made some other kind of mistake, like you forgot to add a field or you misspelled an email address. Oops, what are your options? How do you ensure that you receive back a completed agreement on your terms? In this video, I'm going to explain the concept of correcting, voiding, and deleting an envelope in DocuSign. And what are the differences? So here I have the exact scenario I just laid out. I've sent an NDA to two recipients, and the first recipient has already signed. But we're going to suppose that it's come to my attention that there's something that needs changing, something that I forgot or messed up. Mistakes happen, but how can I clean them up? Well, my first option is to correct the envelope, which is something that I can do to any envelope that hasn't been completed yet by all signers. But the first thing to recognize about the correct capability is that you are not allowed to correct anything that a recipient has already finished. You see that when I'm correcting this envelope, the recipient's name and email address are grayed out, and also the information they signed is locked. I can't remove or edit that information. Nor can I edit anything about the fields that the previous signer filled out. Just like you can't use scissors and cut out someone's signature and move it to a different part of a physical document for obvious reasons, you can't move someone's electronic signature activity around on a digital agreement. However, I can correct anything I want for folks who haven't yet signed. If I misspelled their email address, I can correct that. If I wanted to give them more time to sign, I can extend the expiration date on the envelope. And if I forgot a field, I can add it. It's also important to recognize that admins on an account can even allow for new documents to be uploaded into an envelope during correction. This is a setting that they can enable in the sending settings of the account. So there's a lot you can correct about an envelope, but not everything. What if I did want to switch out an agreement that one recipient has already signed because I found out that it was the wrong version, or I needed to make some super last minute adjustments to the contract language? This is a situation where voiding the envelope may become necessary. But you may have noticed that in every envelope's actions menu, there are options to void an envelope and one to delete it. What's the difference between these options? Well, voiding an envelope is something that senders can only do while an envelope is in progress, meaning it hasn't been completed by all signers yet. Voiding effectively cancels the envelope. The sender is required to write a reason for voiding, and that reason will get communicated in an email notification that is sent to all parties who have already signed, letting them know the envelope that they signed was canceled by the sender and their reason for doing so. Notably, the envelope stays visible in the sender's sent folder. Now, if you were to delete an in-progress envelope, this action also voids the envelope. But at the end, the envelope will be removed from your sent folder and put into the trash folder, eventually to be permanently deleted from the account. So both actions void the envelope, but voiding leaves it available to be viewed in your account. Notably, you can delete any envelope anytime, regardless of its status, if you just want to clean up your envelope library a bit. One last thing to note is that signing recipients can also cancel an envelope. The term for that is declining to sign, something they see in the Actions drop-down menu of the signing ceremony. This behaves just like the void action does, except that it's instigated by the signer. Hopefully this tip will help you manage your agreements more confidently in the future. My name is Matt Farler from DocuSign University, and I'll see you next time.